Glory be to the Triune God. We all are on a journey towards the Calvary. We have been hearing a number of devotional messages all these days. These devotional messages are meant to strengthen our spiritual life. It helps us to withstand the worldly turmoils and temptations. The portion for today's meditation is quite related to such turmoils and temptations in human life. The portion for today's meditation is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 to chapter 9 verses 1. Two incidents are mentioned here but we will discuss the first incident due to time constraints. Here we can see Christ and his disciples on board a boat traveling to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And there was a sudden storm. Jesus is asleep. His disciples cried and tried to awake him. Jesus calms the storm. The Sea of Galilee often witnessed quick change in the weather conditions. A calm and peaceful Sea of Galilee changes into a stormy and dangerous sea at no time. A human life can really be compared to the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee is surrounded by hills in all the sides and so it is often very calm. The water is fresh and it's really a wonderful place. When we look into Psalms 121 verses 1, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and the earth. Our life, when it is under the protection of the Lord, it is very safe. It is always under the protection of the Lord that we feel comfortable and good. But the Sea of Galilee often witnessed sudden and severe storms without any notice. Geographically saying, the layout of these hills are again the reason of this sudden storms and disasters. With this we can understand that the more we try to be near to God, the more trials and temptations we have to face. The devil is always moving with us to attack us and to devour us. In all types of trials and temptations, we have only one solution. The one who was in the boat along with the disciples. Our Savior Jesus Christ. He is the answer of all our troubles. So, we have to evaluate our lives. I would just have two questions to you. Do you have Jesus in your boat of life? I again repeat, do you have Jesus in your boat of life? And question number two, and if you really have Jesus in your boat of life, have you kept him in a sleepy condition or is he active in your life? I repeat the second question. And if you really have Jesus in your boat of life, have you kept him in a sleepy condition or is he active when you are there? 
Here what we can find is in the boat of the disciples Jesus became active when he was called upon. If we do not permit him to interfere into our life he will become dormant and inactive. The sleeping Jesus denotes our inactiveness in communicating with him. I repeat this point. The sleeping Jesus denotes our inactiveness in communicating with him. We have Jesus in our boat of life. We have received him through our baptism. But we have always or many a times tried to keep him away from involving in our life. And that is why we have to face the sudden storms and temptations in our life. So beloved ones in the Christ, there are four points which I would like to share with you. In short, the first point is always and always be under the protection of the Lord. That is said in Psalms 121 verses 1. The second point is, the more we try to be near to God, the more we will face trials and temptations. I repeat, the more we will try to be near to God, the more we will face trials and temptations. The third point is, we should have our Savior on our boat of life to help us to face the trials and temptations. I repeat, we should have our Savior on our boat of life to help us to face the trials and temptations. And my final point which I would like to conclude is, he should not be a, an unattended person in our boat of life, in a dormant or inactive status, but he should be there as the leader or the driver or the captain of our boat of life. May God bless us all.